السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان لائف دا کویسچن ٹو بی آس ہاؤ آر وی گوئن بی جج ہاؤ ول فیلو یومینٹی لک ایٹ یو فارچونیٹ آر دوز انڈیویجولس ہو ہیو میڈ اے ڈفرینس ٹو دا لائفس آف ادر پیپل وی آر پارٹ آف دس یومینٹی We are here to serve a purpose. The notion is, well, I like to be on my own, is an erroneous notion. You should and must be an active member of your communities. And indeed, you must make a difference. Camillo, yes, what do you understand by this, about making a difference? Well, there's a, there's a huge need to make a difference. Uh, making a difference is to change the direction of something completely, perhaps something that was going in a, in a negative path and just having that impact or effect on society or an individual um, that can then become positive. So changing the direction completely from a negative to a, a positive direction. So the, the emphasis is that means, you know, there are some individuals yes. that uh, can make a difference but in a negative way. Certainly. So, so in other words, you look at what is positive. Yes. Uh, yes. Jazakumullah for that, Camilo. Uh, Ashwak, uh, <laughs> alhamdulillah, uh, it was so good meeting you. And uh, I know now that I felt your muscles, no, one, no one's going to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> Ashwak, the idea about uh, making a difference, why is that so important? What do you understand by it? Assalamu alaikum. And I want to make difference because you know that time is very short and shukar alhamdulillah Allah give you opportunity to you can do something. So don't leave, you have to do. So that's why I'm giving the message for the everyone to please Allah Ta'ala give you opportunity for the anything like I'm in a bodybuilder, models, like you want to go to doctors or cricketer or soccer, please you have to do it. Mm-hmm. You have to do it, please. And you respect for your mother and father. Mm-hmm. They spend money for you, for the gym, soccer class, cricket. Mm-hmm. So please, I respect for the, all my sister and brother and friend. Mm-hmm. Please, you do something. Life is very short. Mm-hmm. You have to do something in the world. Mm-hmm. Today I'm here because I did something, mm. that's why I'm here. Mm. So inshallah, make dua for everyone. Tomorrow also you here mm. and say about. Mm. Namdila, Ashwak, uh, you raise a few points. Uh, first, it's quite clear you're thankful to Allah. And you said something that we take for granted. Life is short, mm. right? And thirdly, you spoke about your mom and dad. They're making sacrifices for you. So it's a very important aspect about making a difference. Uh, Abdul, my... Beloved brother. <laughs> you know, to have a, making a difference means to have a significant impact, a significant, you know, um, difference, a change, like Camilo says, a change from a negative to a positive. And also like Ashfaq is when you love something and Allah has gifted you with this gift of love, whether it's a bodybuilder, whether it's a poet, whatever it is, is to take that skill and inshallah bring it to the world. And if you love what you do, alhamdulillah, what that beautiful skill that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you and each one are unique each one is different it is that skill that we have to cause a ripple effect and that ripple effect is throwing that stone into the ocean and alhamdulillah no matter how small that stone is it is that ripple effect that causes to to humanity to the world and that is making a difference inshallah from you know from the concept of what you're speaking about it yes you see that's the point the point is this uh, the question to ask ourselves every day who is benefiting from your life on this earth? Who is benefiting? In some cases, some of us are spectators even in our own life. Absolutely. So, Camilo, the idea of making a difference, there may be someone watching the program and says, you know what? I mean, you know, I'm cool. I like it. Uh, and I'm the man. Yeah. You know, I mind nobody's business, I trouble nobody, yeah. I got my Ferrari, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Yes. This thing about making a difference, yeah. is it something that is 
fundamental to your existence, something critical, or you should think about it now and then, you know? Yeah. What do you understand by it? Well, I think we could draw from a number of examples, whether we take from the example of Rasulullah or um, many great leaders will always tell you that service to humanity is, is the rent that you pay for being on this earth, mm. you know? So it is, it is critical because no man is an island. You might think that you're detached and you have this beautiful world that you've built for yourself. Um, but if that world doesn't give meaning to others, doesn't uplift others, doesn't uh, transform other people, then um, there's no value to what you've done. You yourself can't derive value from driving your Ferrari. But if something happened, for instance, there was a, a, a lady giving birth on the side of the road and you, you helped her get to the hospital or something, you know, when you go back home, you'll say, yo, I, I actually, Absolutely. you know, finally used my Ferrari in, in a positive light. Mm. And you actually derive great value from that. That's my perspective. We definitely have to um, contribute to humanity in some form or shape. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, the, the, the thing is, I uh, think all of us have an opportunity. I'm reminded uh, of a story, Ashfaq, you know. A teacher asked his students, uh, what you want to do when you become older? So many of them spoke about being a chartered accountant, a doctor. So this young boy said, I want to be a fireman, you know. Wow. And this teacher ridiculed him, you know. Yeah. He laughed at him, he scoffed at the idea. A fireman, a fireman, yeah. anyway. The boy was not deterred, but he was very sad mm. that the teacher responded that way. Mm. And what happened, look at how it works. Yeah. This teacher met up with a serious accident. Sure. They needed the jaws of life to save him. Oh, wow. And who came there, the jaws of life, <laughs> was his ex-student. Ex yeah. right. yeah. Then he said, you know, afterwards, I think being a fireman is also a good, noble job, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So anyway, Ashwak, uh, I know from the intensity, the emotion that you shared, right? On your personal life, what is it that motivates you to want to make a difference? What is it? Who inspired you? You see, is a, uh, is a very important, is my life, is mother. Mm. Because I was six years old. Mm. And my father is passed away. And my mother is a very young. Mm. My family is a force to be get married again. Yeah. But my mother said, no, I don't want to get married because it's my, my chil children mm. one day going to come back to me and yeah. he give me everything. Yeah. So, Alhamdulillah, I decide to do something. And today I did for the everything, like very hard work. I was like from India. I born India, but I'm citizen of the South Africa. Mm. So my father is passed away six years old, and I nine, nine years I'm old. Mm. Then I start to work. Mm. You can't believe me. Like today, people saying I'm very rich family born, mm. but I'm giving you message. I'm very poor family. Mm. I was nine years old and I start to my labor work. Morning seven to nine o'clock I go to madrasa. Ten o'clock to I can go to fi five. Ten to five I go to school. After us, sir, I go to work for the, my family member. Mm. To five to nine o'clock I get two rupees. Mm. And my mom she gonna cook. Mm. And what I eat only curry kichri. You know rice and curry kichri. Mm. Because that time my mom say, my son. We're getting two rupees. We got no money to we can get to roti or chicken or something. Oh. Even I don't remember, mm. 18 years old somewhere, what is this chicken or fish or something. Mm. One day I decide I want to suicide because family give me a lot of headache. Oh. Because without father, anybody like to be like punching back, yeah, yeah, yeah. hitting me. I'm going to mom, mom, please, this our family member is hitting me. I don't want to work here. My mom said, son, if you not go to work, how can I eat? Mm. I go back again to work. Mm. Then my family member hitting me. Mm. I decide to let me go to suicide. Mm. I went from the railway station. Mm. I'm waiting for the train. It didn't come. Then I go to river. Mm. I jump. Mm. I don't remember. Mm. After four days, I open my eyes and I see I'm in a hospital. My mom is sitting here, she crying. Whole body is a plaster. Mm -hmm. Then 
my brain is totally die. Mm -hmm. Six months, I was in a bed. I'm not trying. Doctor said, please do exercise. Mm -hmm. You're not walking. You're not doing. You're going to be finished. I said, no, I don't want to leave this world. Mm -hmm. Then one day, I saw the knife in the kitchen. And I can't walk. My mom somewhere went. I just go when what I see, too much roti. I try to fetch knife and I smelling too much roti. I'm feeling vomiting. Then I saw one bowl. My mom that roti he put inside in the water and take one cloth to be clean and putting in a fry pan and give it to me. I was cry like baby that day. Mm -hmm. And I decide to Allah, maybe that day is Allah is front of me, is accept my dua. Mm -hmm. I say, Allah, I can't try my life to suicide. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, today I'm making dua. Mm -hmm. When I, I die, world people can't forget me. Mm -hmm. And today, alhamdulillah, you can see me. Mm -hmm. I'm in a world channel, world newspaper. Mm -hmm. That day Allah accept me. Okay. I did very hard work. Mm -hmm. And I reach here. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm in a world channel, I'm a model. Mm. I did from the, our country, I'm representing South Africa. I got two gold medals, base model ever, athletic mm. award. 2016 is a big, big competition for the Arnold Classic. Mm. I win third place bronze medals, and I win for the base athletic. And I say, let me, I can 2017, I can do again. And I came first place, and I win two gold medalists and base model ever. World people knows me. Before my one name, Asfak, mm. but people can't remember you are Asfak. Now, Tiger, SAS, Asfak Bandwala, I don't know how many names because I'm very popular because my mother is Dua. Yes, you know, uh, my beloved brothers, I mean, in this kind of program, we have no idea of what to expect. There are so many lessons uh, to be gleaned from this very emotional uh, story. The lessons are so many. The one lesson is, sometimes when you see someone enjoying some kind of success, mm -hmm. you assume he had it easy. Looking at Ashwak, his beautiful body, the energies, the time he spends on it, his dedication to the cause of Islam, and you wonder what's your motivation. Yet he contemplated suicide, and he is now giving back you know, to the deen of Islam and people around him. So you too, my brothers and sisters, can make a difference. We'll be back immediately after this break. Time is now, time is now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And even in the break, uh, we were reflecting on Ashfaq's story. And I'm sure, Camilo, you also have a story. And Abdul, I know you also have. Lots of stories, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, Abdul, I mean, on a personal level, listening to uh, what Ashfaq has said, uh, what are the lessons you glean from it? You know, I think there's many lessons, Idris. Um, you know, it's being thankful. Is that every day when we wake up, Allah gives us another opportunity. Another opportunity to make a difference. And every day he was contemplating some stage life. Some stage he contemplated giving up. Some, day, some, some, some days he had hope. And it's, it's that, that will to drive himself every day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all the opportunity to make a difference. And the biggest lesson I get that all of us have an opportunity to make a difference. We have to look within ourselves. Deep inside all of us we have the power. Firstly, that we have to dig inside. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is close to our jugular vein. If we can dig inside ourselves and find that power um, within ourselves, and inshallah, strengthen ourselves like Ashfaq has. And inshallah, in that way, he won't just leave a will. Alhamdulillah, he'll leave a legacy. He's not living just a successful life. Alhamdulillah, he's living a significant life. He's making a significant difference already where he is and, and the impact he has. And Alhamdulillah, causing a ripple effect, not only to himself, but everyone he touches. Yeah. And that's inspiring, Alhamdulillah. You know, the, in the first part, and I know tears are also welling, and all of us are quite emotional about it. And I think that's the point. I think, you know, sometimes we try to reach out to people's minds. Is really reaching out to people's hearts where there is that connectivity. I mean, the first part we spoke about, you know, 
uh, what is meant by making a difference. Now the question is, why should one make a difference? That's an important question. Why should one make a difference? I, th I think uh, Sidi Abdul actually answered that uh, for me in the sense that you don't want to just exist and, and, and just live. You want to leave a legacy. You, always, you know that your, your time here is limited and you, you're going to transition to the next world. And you'd like leaving knowing that you've left something valuable. And we know that we can't take our wealth, we can't take anything with us to the grave except good deeds. You know, um, other than the realization or the simple fact that the world is in dire need of, of good. The world is in dire need of healing. And it, it would be ignorant for us to just exist and feel that we don't need to make a change, that we don't need to contribute. I think that's, um, that's pretty you know, much... Every new day, yeah. we have that opportunity to yeah. do that. Every new moment, every new second, you know, we have an opportunity yeah. to do that and be influenced by, like today, influenced by Ashfaq and his story. You know, I think every moment is a new chance. It's not never give up. Just, no. you know, even that roti is there, you know, know that there's hope. And change my life. Yeah. yeah. So this is my turning point for that day. So I see my mom house is doing, and then I slowly, slowly, I I never got money so I can go for the gym. Doctor say you must do exercise. Then I start my house too. I put the bricks, and slowly, slowly I start. Even I don't know that now is a new generation is a very lucky. His father and mother he got. Even the people is not making two rakat sukar for the parents. Mm. Even one week, you have to make sukar for the our parents two rakat namaz. Mm. Even you don't have time one week, you must have to make sukar even one month one time. Mm. If you don't have one month time, you have to make sukar for the even one years one time. Mm. Ke Allah Taala, you give me my good parents. He's helping me mm. to pay money for the gym, mm. pay money to petrol. Mm. Father using Toyota. But he's giving son for the BMW. My son, mm. you must use. Okay. Mm. So son is not thinking. Mm. You see, Ashwak, I, I think uh, from what I gather from what you are saying, sometimes when you talk about making a difference, we are thinking about massive things. Mm. But the point that you are making, what you can do on a daily basis, and charity begins at home. It's about, I mean, what's the use of being this magnanimous, mm. loving, generous person in the community mm. when your family do not know who you are, we do not give them the dignity and respect. So I think the, the idea, the idea uh, of, of making a difference as a point that you made uh, from some of the quotations that you are sharing is fundamental to our life. And I think, uh, you know, do you think, uh, Camelo, that on a daily basis you could ask yourself this question, yes. what have I done and who has benefited from my existence? Certainly, certainly. Um, that is a, to take a, to have accountability for self on a daily basis is very important. Um, but it shouldn't just end there. It shouldn't just end where you account for yourself, but you also need to recognize the intention of your action. As we know that the, the, every action is rewarded by its intention. You also might not have the capacity to do a whole lot, mm. but just your intention and desire to want to do something good is important and also not to get trapped into your ego where you're doing good for the sake of, of praise from creation etc. It's very important to um, remind ourselves that it's for Allah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, brothers and sisters, you can start off doing something now. If you're sitting with your wife, look at her and say, darling, I love you. Hold the hand. You'll make a difference to your children. You can do something right now. Immediately after this break, we got a surprise for you. And you're going to say, I like it. <laughs> Time is now. Time is now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You notice a little more animation because this particular segment, this particular item here 
it really excites me. I have no idea what to expect, you know. Surprise sometimes is a good thing. Camilo, I know you're a spoken word artist. That's right. Uh, and you're smiling and you're ready to go. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Can you share with us uh, perhaps something on Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, I'll share with you a poem that I wrote. Rasulullah is my biggest inspiration. Alhamdulillah. Um, may, may Allah give us perfect us through his perfection. Oh, he's a beautifully perfection, said. Inshallah. Beautifully said. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, the, the piece is titled My Beloved. My mm. Beloved. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My Beloved, in what language have you not been praised in? For in every millionth movement of this moment, every continent contemplates the light that radiates from your face. Your greatness is a tale that time cannot translate. Your noble character is a jewel that nobody can imagine. And though time talks and space spreads, neither could attain the full expression of your perfection. Souls, struck by the beauty of your benevolence, poured layers upon layers of love, placing abstract dimensions in humanity's palm, proving that poetry was created precisely for your praise, mm. and that all forms of praises to you are in fact poetry inked in infinity, an act by the Absolute and his angels, a personal invitation to the believers from the Supreme. Then, what fault will you find with the lover's adoration? If any, then let it be yours. Let me be, for love is the language created to praise my beloved. Love is the explosive expression from my heart to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh man, you know what? You know what? Uh, people may ask, you know, the question beautifully said, what's the relevance? Mm -hmm. I see four, yeah. four things. Number one, yeah. you are showing that Allah has given you a gift, yeah. a spoken word artist, mm -hmm. and you celebrate in the life of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The other difference, mm -hmm. you are reminding us and asking us, mm -hmm. what is your talent? Mm -hmm. Unleash your talent. Okay. And thirdly, you are praising the person who is supposed to be praised. Okay. And last but not least, mm -hmm. if Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can be the center of our life, mm -hmm. inshallah, with that center, mm -hmm. it will illuminate your own life. Oh, certainly. Without Beautifully God, said. I, 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 I like it. Alhamdulillah. I like it. Idris, you know, you talk of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we're talking of making a difference. You know, it's a beautiful example of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he first came into Medina and when he entered Medina, People knew him, didn't know him and what he was going to do. Yeah. And suddenly, he didn't just make a change immediately. Yeah. He took time. He, he was flexible. Mm -hmm. He started adopting what people did, what was huck. Mm -hmm. And that that wasn't huck, mm -hmm. he, he didn't part partake in it. Yeah. So what he did, he, he firstly established himself in that character that you talk about, his noble character. Yeah. And that noble character inspired others. Mm -hmm. And then they started following that. And that is why we are, and you say, we have that message, it's that, that message that he has given us is that be flexible, okay. you know, be be compassionate in your in your in your in your, in your difference. Don't just harsh and be harsh towards people. You know, make that difference in a in a simple way because a journey of a thousand miles always say starts with one step, even one word, okay. even one smile that we can give today, and that is the difference. We talk on Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In fact, uh, uh, when you sp spoke about that. One of the critical qualities of any leader is trust. Before he became Prophet wasalam, everyone believed him. When he said to the people, if I tell you there is an army behind the mountain, would you believe me? They said, I'll believe you. So trust is a fundamental thing that you do. So uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, Ashwak, you know, you, you shared this particular story with us, right? I mean, the question I'm going to ask you, right? And you, perhaps you alluded to it, you referred to some points. The question is, how can you make a difference? You know, how can you make a difference? Now, you cannot make a difference if people do not trust you, isn't it? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Uh, so it's about you investing with people, people getting to know you. In terms of the work, okay, you spoke about your personal trauma, that experience, and how from adversity 
you have reached prosperity and it's quite clear your mother was the abiding light in your life. Now, being in South Africa, can you share with us an, a story of one individual, not necessarily mentioning him on the television, that you had, through Allah's blessing, a profound impact on his life. You, you know, made a big difference. Yeah, shukr alhamdulillah, I came for this country mm. and I get a lot of barakat, mm. right, shukr alhamdulillah. And I done also hard work here. And slowly, slowly, I also came here. So I do work first start and then after I start my own business slowly, slowly. I'm doing for the steel work, welding. Mm. So I start from there and I start from the bodybuilding also slowly, slowly. So Alhamdulillah, 36 championship already I win mm. for the local championship. And three championship, Mr. South Africa. Mm. Then I, I went from the world title. Mm. So, and Shukar Alhamdulillah, I was a small to I start from the Etikaf. Mm. Mm. Uh, this is my 26 years Etikaf. Oh, my first Etikaf, I can tell you, you know, that is a true story Allah knows. This is a mosque mm. and I don't want to talk lie anything. Mm. And first time, I give you my own story mm. for the television. Mm. So I was small to be like my father. My mom is tell me, your father can't miss Tohazut. Mm. Your father, every month, seven, eight keep Rosa. Mm. Mm. Whole years, mm. he can't miss Namaz. Mm. And same like me, mm. even I was small, that time no money mm. to I can eat, so I keep Rosa. Mm. I did Namaz. And one day is a mosque, our Baruch Limri Chok mm. is a witness there. Mm. So he come to me, he says, fuck, tomorrow is the etikaf day and no one sitting in the mosque. So I request for you, you can sit in the etikaf. I say, I like to be seated at etikaf, but I got problem. I get five rupees to work mm. and I can give my mother. So mm. my mother is going to cook. Mm. So you must speak to my mother. So I speak to my mother and I tell him, okay, don't worry, we trust. We give you money for the 10 days, mm. and I can give you food, your son, but you must please sure. sit to Etekaf. Mm. I sit first in the Etekaf. Then I come out, I saw this lot of barakat. Oh. Then I decide second time, I don't need anybody money mm. to mm. tell, to give my mom, mm. and I want to sit. Automatically, I went from the Etekaf. And second time, I decide to Allah Ta'ala, I can sit whole life, mm. because after Etekaf, I changed my whole life and still I was a small 13 years old to now. Mm. I'm keeping every month seven, eight rosa. Mm. And my niyat, people please make dua for me. Mm. It's my biggest niyat. Okay, I want to die from the etikaf. Oh Makkah Madina with Iman. So please make dua for me. Yeah. It's my niyat. That's why I'm sitting every year's etikaf. Mm. This is my 26 years etikaf is finished and my niyat to whole life. So make dua, Allah make easy for me and my family to I can sit whole life at the calf. Mm. And I'm doing best thing for also, I open my gym, Allah give you opportunity to I open the gym. Because why people is a lot of poor like myself, before I got no money to go to gym. That's why I opened the gym. Uh, no contract, just you must pay money and you can do the gym. Mm. I'm doing a lot of charity work also, Alhamdulillah. Mm. But just I don't want to put anything name, but yeah. just make dua for me. Yeah. Okay, whole life I can do something. Yeah. Because you know what? Now people got Ferrari. Yeah. He got everything on helicopter. Yeah. But I didn't see in a newspaper one article, okay, these guys are doing something this and that. Right? But Sukar Alhamdulillah, I got nothing, but I'm very popular in the world. So I'm making Sukar for Allah. Okay, he give me big opportunity. Okay, is people know me in the world. Mm. Inshallah, you know what, <laughs> Ashwak, when I gave you a hug, I, I felt your muscle mm -hmm. and whatnot. I'm saying, I won't tell anyone, anyone messes with me. I'm just going to show them your photograph <laughs> and I want you to take out the coat later and show me your muscles, right? Inshallah. And you know what, uh, Ashwak, uh, you know what, Alhamdulillah, you know, there is no coincidence in Islam. Okay. The fact that you are sitting here and Camilo is here and Abdul, it's, it's a reminder, you know, or what we can do, you know. May you be better than what I think you are. May you be better than what we think you are, inshallah. Allah give all of you strength, inshallah. Uh, Abdul, you know, I know that, you know, you, you are involved with a lot of youth. And I know you have a lot of passion for them. And uh, 
what I, I know your messages are about helping them to unleash the potential and making a difference to have self-belief. I think today lots of young people, uh, you know, they want to mimic other people. They, they feel, you know, nothing they can offer. Now, what is it that motivates you? Why, why is it that you want to make a difference? Andres, I think every day when I wake up is another opportunity. Allah gives me a new day. And that new day is an opportunity. And I think the most important thing that if I can, inshallah, Allah inspires me through His mercy and grace that see the gratitude in everything I do. Is when you look at gratitude, you can turn, when Camillo started, a negative into a positive. You can turn the hopelessness into hope. You can turn, you know, um, a successful life, where you talk about a Ferrari, into a significant life. And it's that, you know, it's that, and, and every day, if you look at yourself through gratitude, you can make a difference. You know, take an example of a mosquito. Be one night alone in a room with a mosquito, and you can see the impact that mosquito has on you. And that impact it can have is that no matter how small you are, whether you're 13 years, whether you are, you can make that impact. Whoever you are, my beloved brothers and sisters, there's a clear opportunity that Allah has given you this life, this moment, this day. You can make a difference. You know, I, you know, after, <laughs> you told mosquitoes. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> the mosquitoes I know have a high self-esteem, and, and they, they don't, don't bite. Me. They don't need my company. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need my company. So, inshallah, uh, we'll be back immediately after this break uh, for the final segment. Time is now. Time is now. Assalamu alaikum uh, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have watch three segments of this program and it is my earnest prayer that you are inspired and one of the biggest gifts we have as human beings as homo sapiens is to reflect on our life and to ask ourselves in what direction are we going and that's a fundamental question it's never too late to change you're never too young to adopt an adult attitude, you're never too old to make a radical change in your life. Camilo, you have in the viewers, you have people of different faiths, yes. you have young and the old. Yes. Some of them might feel incapacitated. This is, there's nothing I can do. Yes. What are some practical things that people can do? Like, you know, on a, like on a daily basis, yes. what questions should they ask themselves? Mm. What difference can they make, whether they are commuters in a bus, okay. whether they're working with the colleagues? Mm. What do you think? I can. You know, our, our president has, has set out a campaign to Mamina, you yeah. know, mm. uh, meaning send me there wherever there's need, mm. you know. And no one is ever incapacitated for as long as you're alive. Um, smiling at someone that might have been suicidal on a particular day could change the day completely. Completely. You know, um, people that are able to share their meals. You know, Ibrahim alayhi salam mm. was said to have never had a meal on his mm. own. He wouldn't eat if mm. there was no one to mm. share it mm. with, mm. you know, which made him Khalilullah. Mm. And we sharing a simple meal or part of your meal, anything that you're able to share that, that, that is positive, it might not mean anything to you, but it could mean the world to someone else. And I think that's pretty much what you can do on a daily basis, regardless of who you are, what religion you are. You know, um, uh, Sheikh Don Matera, I'm yeah. very yeah. fond of him. Yeah. He says, my religion is compassion. Mm. And I think that's what we need to embrace mm. as a people. Yeah. I think uh, the, uh, from what I've gathered, right, uh, you see yourself as part of this wider humanity. Certainly. Uh, sometimes you could walk down with blinkered vision mm. or peripheral vision. So in other words, uh, you know, a simple smile to the guy next door, Yes. a hello, yeah. smiling at someone that could uh, transform him. Certainly. Uh, Abdul, I mean, the, what practical things that can be done and should be done? You know, if you look at um, Ashfaq and as an athlete, as a, as, a, as a person who does weight training, it is making that difference, making that impact. So if you're eating chips, you start eating pasta. It's making that change. It's if you're having water, also not have too much water because it can cause you a detrimental effect. So the change is also some that is 
adequate and impactful. And also, you know, if you're, if you're a mum, if you're a brother, a sister, all you do is, yes, be compassionate. And how do you be compassionate is your word. Is share a word instead of saying, I hurt you, say, I'm sorry. You know, smile, feed someone, be kind. Our Prophet said the two things we can do, and alhamdulillah, if we do those two things, we can be impacted in his life, so wherever we go, we can smile, we can give food. And those small little acts is when you're giving of yourself what you have. Okay. Inshallah, it impacts others. So it's that impact that we even, I think Madiba said, um, we all can make a difference. Okay. And we all can make this impact in this world, but it's in your hands. Hmm. So use your hands and share it. Okay. You know, uh, there is this story. Our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they said that no one left empty handed. Hmm. When anyone came to him for help, if he could not help, he pointed you to whom you could get help from. Right? Look at that. Look at that's a sunnah. <coughs> and I recall, and uh, it's not uh, to for self-aggrandizement or whatever. Just as an example, I was in uh, Durban in one of the streets, and I was rushing for an appointment. Mm. And then what happened? One guy uh, desperately was to deliver a parcel. And because they changed the name of the streets, I wasn't too sure. Yeah. He said to me, please, would you help me, man? I'm desperate to go to this place. I'm desperate. Mm. And I'm thinking about my meeting. Mm. Then immediately I thought about Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I said to him, wait my moment. Mm. I said, I opened the phone. Mm. I went to Google Maps yeah. and I showed it to him. Yeah. And I felt so happy. Okay. And this is a point, you see. Mm. When you make a difference, to the lives of others, Allah makes a difference to your life. How beautiful is the deen of Islam that you lift up your hands and pray for someone else, the angels say Amin to you. Idris, you gave me that message which changed my thought about making a difference. I was with you and we were in Omondi and we just came to the store and uh, someone stopped Idris. And he says, and Idris, I know he was, he was a bit disturbed mm -hmm. and sad. And Idris spoke to him a few minutes mm -hmm. and he left happy. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the most beautiful message. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is the, the and, and I think if I look at making a difference, it total, in total, you look at that is, he says, Abdul, mm -hmm. the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't use you mm -hmm. to be a servant to somewhere else, mm -hmm. there is a problem. Who is he? You are doomed. And I think that message when you told me on Monday was what is making a difference in totality for me. Abdul, continue. <laughs> you see, uh, you know, uh, in the last few moments we have, you know, from what we have gathered, I mean, it's quite clear uh, you spoke about that we have to make a difference and uh, subsume what you were saying to use your talent. And thirdly, I think critical thing, we need to reconnect with Allah. Absolutely. And one of the things that you also mentioned is the fact of connecting with members of your family. Mm -hmm. Like your mother's devotion to your guys, mm -hmm. did not want to remarry because she says, where would you all come to? Mm -hmm. And you were inspired by the story. Mm -hmm. The idea also when you speak about, uh, you know, when you ask yourself, as you indicated, you know, sit for itikaf, mm -hmm. once you are spiritual, mm -hmm. what it does also, that spirituality connects. I mean, when you, we are sitting here, you know, inshallah, we, and you spoke about intention. Mm. We're not doing it so people say, wow, hey, uh, brilliant, hey. Okay, you know, inshallah, I pray we're not doing it for that purpose. Okay. That's not our objective, okay. right? Okay. But why are we doing it? Yeah. We want to connect to the hearts of people, right? So, so Ashfaq, what message do you want to give? One two-minute message or one-minute message? Mm. I want you to look at the camera, Ashfaq. Yeah. And um, say, see, from India, right? Say, bio or beno? No, no. <laughs> uh, I'm from India, uh, from Gujarat, Baruch, but I'm represent South Africa because I'm citizen of South Africa. So mm. I, I just learned from the here because I whole life, like, you know, my small <laughs> term year. So I learned too much for the everything. Okay, please, my brother and sister and friend, I like to just request for you, you must respect your mother and father. I promise you, mm. tomorrow you hear. Mm. And whatever you want to do, you must do from the here. Mm. Don't thinking. Your friends say you must go for the cricket, your soccer, or lawyer, or anything, or doctor. Don't think. Think yourself and decide what you want to do. Whatever your father paying money for the gym, cricket class, anything, soccer class, 
you must respect that money mm -hmm. because you don't know they how is hard work mm -hmm. you know today i need something myself i'm thinking okay i'm buying tomorrow tomorrow but my children say papa i need okay beta tomorrow i can get for mm -hmm. you why because i want to see my children tomorrow also come to TV or newspaper and I feel proud. And when I am die, people can't forget me. Cash fuck is die, but people can't forget me. He did something base in the world. And I'm give you all the people, please do base, do think good, respect for the neighbor, friend, and help whatever you can. Jazakallah. You know what, I mean, uh, that philosophy is so well encapsulated, could be given to anyone. Yeah. And, and the point that you made, and it's quite clear, to live consciously with intentionality mm -hmm. and respect your parents. And, and, you, and you said that if you turn to Allah, then inshallah you'll enjoy success here and in the year after. Absolutely. Abdul, your final comment, Abdul. You know, be like a, a light, a candle. Know that you have light in you. And when you find that light, take that light and spread it to everyone that you meet. It's like a rose also. You know, um, the rose that gives the rose petal to someone else is not, the, the fragrance doesn't leave your hand and continue giving. And I think the most important thing that you can end with is check your intention. Okay. Know it for the pleasure of Allah. And if you do that, Alhamdulillah, there will be barakah, there will be abundance. And yes, you will make a difference, not leave a will, but a legacy in this world. Okay. Alhamdulillah, uh, my most beloved brothers and sisters, you and please believe me, and I'm speaking to you, you can make a difference. Inshallah. Inshallah. Do not allow other people to circumscribe you or to confine you. Whether you're a male or a female, my beloved sisters, you're also part of the Ummati of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You too can leave a legacy. All of us need to leave a legacy. Nothing will be more moving to your family that the day you die, people come there and say, you know what? Your husband did this for me, did that for me. And my gosh, they never knew that you did whatever you have done. So may Allah bless you and we look forward to your feedback. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum. I like it. <laughs>